Let's go, Jet fans. We've waited all offseason for this. The Jets finally get their crack at Sam Darnold and the Carolina Panthers. Here are my top five bold predictions for week one. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Before we get started, I want to thank BetQL for sponsoring this video, the only app you'll need to beat your sportsbook. Find their information along with a 25% off discount code in the description of this video. And also check out the special BetMGM offer in the description in order to receive a free year of BetQL and other sportsbook sign-up offers and bonuses. BetQL is the number one app to compare betting odds and is a must-get if you want to beat your sportsbook this football season. Welcome in. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I'll be live after the Jets-Panthers game for my post-game reactions, and then Monday, I've got the Jets X-Factor guys coming on for our live call-in show, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and Tuesday, we got our live talking Jets panel with me, O'Leary, and Green Bean, so catch all our Jets updates, news, and reactions from week one of the NFL season, but let's jump into our video today, and we are talking my five bold predictions for week one. At number five. The special teams will be perfect. We have continually seen pain and agony from the Jets special teams units over the course of the last two seasons, but that changes now. Right now, week one, Amendola is going to continue his streak of perfect kicking. He was 5 for 5 on extra points in the preseason, and he was 4 for 4 on field goals as well. That will continue into this game, and we will see no more missed field goals, or at least not as many as we've seen over the course of the last two years. And then Braden Mann last year had 19 punts inside of the 20. In just three preseason games, he has seven. So this guy has been on fire. He is going to be a lethal weapon when it comes to downs and distances and field position and all that good jazz. So special teams, number five on my list. At number four, we're talking the defensive line, and I think this is a matchup the Jets must exploit. The Panthers' offensive line is the weakness of their unit. They are without starting right guard John Miller. I think this is an area where the Jets need to take advantage of this Carolina Panthers team, and they need to get after Sam Darnold. I think the Jets' defense is going to tally up five sacks after only having 31 all of last season. Now, you look at the grades across the offensive line for the Panthers. 58, 48, 63, 4, 64, 7, and obviously Moten on the other side with an 81.6. So if you kind of stay to the left side of that line and you have your guys like Quinn and Williams, John Franklin Myers, Foley Fatukasi, Shaq Lawson just coming down, bearing down on that left side of the line, I think the Jets are going to be able to put pressure on Sam Darnold specifically up the A gap and that left side of the line. So five sacks from the Jets defensive unit. At number three, we're talking the running backs and the offensive line. Last year, the Jets ran for 4.1 yards per carry. That was good enough to be 23rd in the NFL. Well, that's going to change this year with the additions that we made to this offensive line. The Jets running backs will run for five yards per carry this week. Makai Becton, 74.4 run blocking grade. AVT, 76.3. McGovern, 70.5. Morgan Moses, 84.7. There are a lot of big fatties on this line that just want to steamroll over you. I think you follow right behind Highway 77 and Elijah Vera Tucker, and you are going to be running wild at the second level. So five yards per carry for our New York Jets. At number two, we're talking Christian McCaffrey, the X Factor, likely the top pick in your fantasy draft this year. Last year, the Jets held opposing running backs to 112 yards per game. That was 12th in the NFL. I think with this Carolina offensive line, the Jets defensive line, and the rust from Christian McCaffrey missing all of last year and not playing any snaps in the preseason, this is primed for the Jets to take advantage of this. Christian McCaffrey will not rush for more than 75 yards. And at number one, you probably guessed it, Zach Wilson will outperform Sam Darnold. And I know I'm wearing my shades of green, and that's all right, but we know a lot about Sam Darnold. This entire team was here last year. We know what Sam's tendencies are. We know how we could possibly exploit them. And Robert Sala went against Sam Darnold last year. This cannot be, you know, overlooked. The guy knows how to game plan against him. So I think that Zach Wilson will be able to take advantage of the five yards per carry we're going to get on the ground. 
I think he will be able to utilize play action. I think he's going to take advantage of a Carolina secondary that is, eh, a little unproven. I think the Jets and Zach Wilson are primed to come out of the gates 1-0 in Carolina. So guys, let me know what you think your top five bold predictions are for the game this week. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets. Jets!